Spent about three years. It's been on the road. I put about 15,000 miles on it. Ponied up and got the stainless steel coolant tank. Brand new alternator. W signal wired in. I think 1992 Jetta diesel tachometer into mine. The pump's off an LT truck or van from Europe. It has a 2800 RPM governor in it. If anybody has information on how to manipulate that governor. Here's my muffler setup. It's currently cracked again. The shop that did it, because I do not weld. I asked them to put a flex pipe right here too. And they said it would be fine. No, that's not fine. That's cracked again. Just replace CVs and boots. The reverse switch. That's the reason my reverse lights were not going on. New starter. Just do it. It's worth it. Eliminate that issue. I think the Provet 200, I believe that's what it's called. I teed it in here. What I do, I haven't plumbed it back in to the oil pan, so I just drain it periodically. I'm probably due to put a new filter in it at this point. It's on a 45 second relay for the glow plugs. This week I've been camping and it was negative 9 Fahrenheit, and it fired right up, no issue. It drives good, it pulls well. EGTs don't get past 1250, even with the 12 millimeter pump, but I have the fuel pushed back quite a bit. I ended up putting DLC PP520 nozzles in, and it gave it a little bit of extra pep. All right, so this is the, where the air comes out. And I just got it tucked in here. I was gonna drill a hole in the cabin, in the, um, the seat here, and just pull out from here, but there's plenty of air here. Here's the fuel, uh, fuel pump. And it's plumbed right into the fuel tank. And for if this thing ever goes out, then I have a spare fuel pump, a glow plug, and atomizer. The three most common failures for these things. But I've had this for a year and have not had an issue with it. Well, blocks of wood. You never know when you need blocks of wood. I doubled up my, my battery bank this summer too. So 265 watt Walmart batteries. I drain to zero all the time. Yep. Glow plug relay. There she is with that campfire smoke glory. So here's the tachometer. It's all stock. But this is the uh, tachometer that I removed and swapped into this, this deck. Put the hardwire kit in the back, eliminating the five ribbon. Highly recommend that. If I ever get lost, I have a TomTom -tom from 2008. Here's my gauges. Oh, I'm going to revisit this box. I made it out of pallets. Yeah. Just a UniWorks. This thing is so bright. Oh my god. It's so bright. Rips. Shout out to VW Rack. I always wanted one of these, so I got one, and it's awesome. I kept having bulb blowing issues, and it was because this was filling up with water. So I went with the Mercedes sealed beam, and there's no way it's water getting in. It's LED. I had the snorkel up there, but I went away with it. It just uh, seemed like it was reducing the airflow a little bit more than what I needed it. Banguru. Shout out to these guys. This stuff's so sweet. It was built it's built so well. The color matches the the stock 84 interior. Like spot on. Nice work. Thank you.